Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will show you the completely free way to bypass the iCloud activation lock screen on the CheckRain jailbreak supported devices. But before that, if you have not subscribed my new YouTube channel that is Just a Tech 2.0 please do subscribe it you will get the new channel link from the description all right now let's continue the process if you guys remember there is a free tool that is available for the check range jailbreak supported devices to bypass the iCloud activation lock screen that is the frp tool but after some time the free version has been stopped and only the paid version is available i've already made so many videos on the free version but after the server stop it is not working and then after that i made the alternative video on the tool that is the f3 rain this is also the free bypass method that is still working in 2023 for the check range jailbreak supported devices but now again the good news that the frp free tool is again back and the servers is working again so you can use the frp tool again on your check range jailbreak supported devices so currently i have a iphone 6 that is running on the latest ios 12.5.6 so i will try to bypass it with the frp tool and let's see it's still working or not and what are the things that are working with the tool and what are the things that are not working so we will see everything in this video so now let me just go to my computer screen and start this process all right now the first thing this method required to jailbreak with a check range so you need a check range iso file for your windows machine and if you are on mac you can directly run the check range latest version so you will get all these links from my blog just check out the description link you will get the direct blog link there so first extract the check range jailbreak 0.12.4 latest version after that you will get the iso file and the rufus tool now you need to make the usb bootable also you will require the flash drive so the process is same for jailbreak you already know how to jailbreak your device on windows machine so simply follow the procedure Alright now the bootable process is done, next step you need to restart your PC and go to your BIOS settings or you can directly go to your boot menu settings. You need to select your USB pen drive from it and directly boot it from. If you don't know how to go to your BIOS settings, just google it according to your laptop brand model. You will get the shortcut key there. Now after the screen, simply wait for 5 seconds and it will load the check rain. And this method only works for iOS 12 to the 14.8.1, iPhone 5s to iPhone X that are compatible with the check rain chill break yet. Now the latest check rain is here. Now simply connect your device. Right now I have an iPhone 6 that is currently running on the latest 12.5.6 as per this device. Now next click on start and if you are on iOS 14 for 6s to x you need to allow the skip A11 BPI check for the A11 devices and for the other devices you need to allow the untested iOS option. After that it will show supported and proceed. Next you need to put your device into DFU mode. So all these processes are very common and you already know how you can do that. So simply follow the instruction on the screen. Now the jailbreak is done. You will see all done on the check range screen. If you get any errors, just retry it and after that the jailbreak will be done. Now the device will stay on the activation lock screen as we have done completed the jailbreak. So do not restart your device. So now you need to quit the check range. After that you will see the terminal below. Just type the reboot and press the enter key and after that your system will be automatically reboot. Now just unplug your USB pin drive and then you are good to go. You will direct to the windows machine. Now after that we are ready for the bypass. You can download the latest FRP file version 2.8.6. You will get the download link from the description or go to my blog and download all these files for free from there. The password of the file is FRP file. So first extract it but before extracting the software make sure you turn off your antivirus and windows defender as these are may restrict this bypass app after that you are good to go now here is the latest frp all-in-one 2.8.6 version first time your device will say it's not registered so you need to register your device that's completely free you can see all the options that are available in the previous version are same. So now it's fully working. You can use the tools and other bypass option. So first copy the serial number. 
Now click on the free register option on the tool. Now it will open the website or click on the first link. Now you can easily register your device from here. There are some information that written here. It will compatible with the check range devices iPhone 5s to iPhone X and other iPad model. If you go below, you will see the serial number option is there. So paste the serial number, wait for 15 to 20 seconds and after that click on submit and then your registration will be done. Now simply reconnect your device and this time you will see your device is successfully registered and you are ready to use the tool. Now simply click on the first option that is bypass hello screen. Now wait for your device to complete bypass. So now the bypass is done and you will see this yes or no click on no obviously this is the free method it will not work with the sim so if you click on yes it will redirect to your another video and all so if you want to bypass with sim and all the function just check out these videos these videos will help you in that i've shown how you can bypass with a cellular network on the latest ios 15 and 16 with the smd i remove tools and the checkmate so you can follow all these guide links in the description so now you can see the bypass is done and the device is on and you can see that the check ring logo is here and there is no apple id bound in the setting so it's a normal i got bypass so now let me just install the cdr you can install the cdr and use the tweak as it's a old ios so now you can see the cdr is working so this bypass is a simple bypass so the sim card or network will not work and for the i services as i mentioned the i services will also not work like i login will not work so let me just try it and see it's working or not as in the previous version it's not working so let's see so now you can see it's showing error that means the actual login is not working but still you can use the app store you can log in from the app store and the apple id will work so you can download the apps but for the iCloud services it will not work so just sign in to your Apple ID from here and after that simply download any apps you want. So you can see the app store is working. So it's a just alternate of the F3 Rain or if you want to use the FRP tool as it has more options. So you can try this method. The FaceTime will also not work as the iServices is not activate. You can try the Siri in some devices I face the Siri is working in some it's not. So you can try it if the Siri is working then good otherwise maybe it's not work for all. But yes one feature is working good that it is the untethered bypass. So after the bypass if you reboot the device it will not lock again so it will work normally after the reboot also. 
so this is the one feature that is working normally for all the devices that i have tested for the jailbreak support with a check rain but yeah still it's better to have something than nothing so you can try this method if you want and if you have older device you can try it and for the ios 15 and 16 i will soon make a free video of how to bypass in the free way so stay tuned for that i will see you in the next video so till then goodbye take care and peace out